Hello again friends, this is video number three in the video series we're rolling out for celebrating 70 years of ministry with the Reverend David L. Johnson. This particular segment is from 1953 to 1957 and it incorporates the years that they served as joint directors of the Christian education system for the Assemblies of God for the North Texas District. So I want to ask Dad to go ahead and jump in at this point and tell us what you did. Okay, what we would do is move in to a church and work with their Sunday school people, teaching people for a week at a time. And then what happens is we need to carry out the commission that says, teach them to observe whatsoever I've commanded you, and lo, I'm with you always. So you can't teach what you don't know. So we taught them how to teach the process of studying and presenting people mm -hmm. what they needed to know to learn. That's great. And you guys were on the road almost constantly, right? Constantly. We lived in the car and at the place they provided for us to live. What kind of car did you drive then? A uh, Pontiac. Okay. A beat-up Pontiac. <laughs> <laughs> Preachers seem to have a history of driving beat-up Pontiacs or beat-up somethings <laughs> anyway. Um, and so you visited between 45 and 50 churches a year. Stayed a week at each one. Wow. And so you would teach them to teach others, evan teach them to evangelize others, yes. and what it took to basically grow, uh, grow the church in their community, that kind of thing. So there was one particular, um, there was one particular training conference you were at, and it was in Grand Prairie, but something happened. Yes, uh, Grand Prairie Church. Uh, some of those, they had the churches around come together to one church, and you'd have five churches in the same conference. And they had just built a new educational building next to the church, like maybe three or four yards between them. And they had a brand new apartment they wanted us to live in. Well, what they had not done was hook up the restroom facilities. So when the session was over, and we went over to go to bed that night, we realized that we needed to go down to the restroom before we went to bed. And I took all the things out of my pocket and Helen had her nightgown on. And we went down to there and immediately realized I had locked the door and my keys were in. <laughs> so you were outside the apartment, outside the building to go to the restroom, but now you had no way to get back in. We couldn't get in the church to use the phone to call the pastor. <laughs> So I had seen the police station about three blocks away. So I said to Helen, let's go. And we walked to the police station and I told them what happened. And they called the pastor and I talked to her, his wife, and she was upset. She said, he's at the church looking for you right now. So he couldn't figure out what happened when we weren't there. But he couldn't get you because you'd locked yourself out. That's right. And I understand that Helen was dressed a certain way as you guys paraded the three blocks down yeah. the street. How was she dressed? She was in her nightgown. <laughs> yeah. So the whole view of Grand Prairie, such as it was at the time. But it was midnight, so nobody saw Right. So. Oh, my gosh. Back in the day, there would have been no traffic. <laughs> Nothing. Now Grand Prairie, there's traffic 24-7, I'm sure. It was a horrible experience. Well, that was a little shorter segment that time. Um, the next segment coming up is going to be the Channel View years. Many of you out there know Mom and Dad from those Channel View years and remember the effectiveness of their ministry and the many lives that they touched. So stay tuned. The next video that we're going to put up here in another day or two will be segment four, and that will be the Channel View years. Right after that, we're going to dedicate an entire segment, segment, segment five, will be dedicated to Dad's round-the-world trip in 1966 when he spent about a month in country in Vietnam and we'll talk about his book, Vietnam, as I saw it. So we hope you'll stay up with us and keep watching these videos. And what are you going to say to the folks out there? Keep stroking. Keep stroking. <laughs>